15 features currently in active development for the MCC, as well as our first look of Halo 4 on PC. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. This lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Helps out the YouTube algorithm so more people get a chance to catch this video and stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. As we do every Friday, we get a development blog update on the MCC. Just kind of give a little heads up of what's currently being worked on right now. Which it seems like I've been feeding you guys a ton of MCC update news because we had the Friday dev update, then we had the month end September blog update, and now we have another Friday one as well. So a lot of updates going on with the MCC right now, guys. And these 15 features are looking pretty freaking awesome, mentioning some things like crossplay, input-based matchmaking, custom game browser, season four content, and a whole lot of other things in this. So let's jump right into it. To start off this list, we have UI slash UX improvements around navigation, roster, customization, and in many more areas within the game, view model adjustments in game, Steam account linking, in game FPS cap adjustments, PC file share, additional video settings and options, custom game browser, input based matchmaking, regional server selection, cross play between PC and Xbox, double key binds for all games, better ways to report players, per game audio options, additional season four content, and the newest edition of text chat improvements to be able to kind of toggle it on and off. So what I want to do in this video guys is kind of break each one down and give you some more information. What can we expect with this upcoming Halo 4 flight? Talking about the Halo 4 flight, right? We did get an update on it and it's currently still within the ring one and two process. I wouldn't expect this flight to happen until about maybe the end of the second week of October, maybe sometime within the third week of October, definitely sometime within this month. A lot of the features I just mentioned are going to be part of this flight as well. And since we're talking about Halo 4 on PC, here Here's an awesome screenshot showcasing the game in 4K and also 120 FOV, looking quite fantastic. So back into the features, talking about the UI UX changes, essentially just trying to clean up the UI a little bit, little bit make it a little bit more functional and a bit more intuitive. As right now, the MCC's UI, it works, but that's about the only compliment I have really of it. It's actually kind of a lot of button pressing and kind of confusing to find where you want to go. Like sometimes I'm still confused exactly where to download games. For the second one, we have view model of adjustments. If you guys don't know what that is, we talked about it in the last one as well. Basically, you get a chance to kind of position your weapon how you'd like. And right now, it seems like Saber Interactive is currently working out the bugs for the view model adjustments as well as the UI and UX changes as well. And they do mention about Steam account linking, and so then you don't have to re add all your friends on the game itself to show up as in your in-game feed. I know this is just like a quality of life kind of change. They do mention this is a lower priority, so I wouldn't expect this to get done maybe even in 2020, but it's currently in active development, so they are trying to make it happen, which is really great to know. Now, a lot of these features right now are currently being actively tested by their QA team, meaning that they have a chance to be added into the Halo 4 flight, and one of them being the in-game FPS cap and adjustments. I really hope there's like a per game basis because some games work really well on limited frames like Halo 2 Classic, Halo C, 3, and ODST, but like Reach, H2A, and it looks like Halo 4 are all going to be kind of framey on the limited frames, and you want to keep those at 60, so I'd like to see that kind of option happen. I do mention about the PC file share and that it is, you know, coming along quite well, but it is a large feature and it seems like engineering is getting a lot of work putting into this. This seems like one of those features that might get pushed into 2021. Again, like the additional video options and settings as well, currently being tested on top of that. Uh, the custom game browser, I know a lot of people looking forward to that, myself included. Uh, it's a large feature and they're taking their time with it to make sure it works properly. If you don't remember, they did kind of mention in the September blog update talking about how they're looking to implement the custom game browser as like a one game at a time kind of thing, just to make sure that they don't overwhelm themselves with this complex system and of networking to make sure that they, when they do implement it, it's the best system it possibly can be. Again, with the expected release date sometime around November of Halo 4 coming to PC, guys, could possibly see this happening in 2021. Now we have input-based matchmaking, region server selection, and cross-play as well. Those are all going to be flighted Potentially, they haven't confirmed it yet, but it seems like it's on track to do that with this Halo 4 flight. So we're definitely gonna be giving you guys some straight up gameplay experience to let you guys know on this channel how that turns out. Now, initially they did say about how input-based matchmaking and crossplay is gonna be on a per playlist basis, and there's not gonna be a toggle on and off option. But in the September update, 
they showed a toggle on and off option. So it kind of confused me. I did reach out to 343. They did say they're going to try to clarify this a little bit. And uh, I haven't heard anything back yet. And it could be a little bit of confusion on it just because they're still working on it. You know, they're not quite exactly sure how they're going to do it and haven't had a chance to have any community feedback mostly on it as well. Though I would expect these features to still come out with Halo 4's release. Now, double keybinds is another feature that's been kind of in the works for a long time as well. Saber Interactive is currently working on the fixing those bugs as well. Uh, having double keybinds, it's just going to be really nice because a lot of times your keys that you want to use for your vehicles might not work out so well when it comes to you know, being on foot, vice versa, things like that. So having double keybinds will definitely improve your experience while playing. Now, better ways to report players is one thing I would really like to see added in here. They do mention it's getting bucketed along with the file share work. I'm assuming that also probably gets bucketed in along with the custom game browser and things like that. So I would probably not expect it to come out this year. In the last two, they did talk about some season four content as well, guys. We got a look at the GRD and the Exo suit and stuff like that coming in with the new armor pieces for Halo Reach, some additional customization for Halo 3. So I'm sure we'll probably see something very similar to the CE treatment when it comes to Halo 3. Definitely looking forward to that. And also text chat improvements. I did mention about being able to turn this on and off. Now, this is a feature I think a lot of people will like. Me personally, I keep it in on just because whenever I come across you guys in the lobbies, I sometimes you know read like, hey, Kevin, like your content. I really appreciate those, those comments a lot while playing the game, guys. That's obviously something I don't want to miss out, but also I don't want to be seeing all this racist stuff that you see in the chat quite often, like it's 2007 all over again. So I don't know why we can't just add a filter in, but right now it's an improvement from just having nothing at all. They do also mention in the previous blog update as well about that if they pack too much content within these flights that some of the things they actually want to test out that need you know, a lot of repetition and a lot of gameplay on, don't get utilized as much because there's so many other things to do in the game for the flight like especially for the halo 4 one just halo 4 alone that's a lot of content we have the forge update for forge we have theater we have the campaign we have multiplayer we have spartan ops that alone is enough content for a flight and on top of that we're going to be hopefully testing out input-based matchmaking cross-playing server region selection with potentially some new uh video options as well for playing on pc so 343 did mention about how moving forward with flights after Halo 4, they'll look to maybe have a little more uh, focused and condensed versions of these. And there might be smaller flights that are much more focused on specific things rather than having like, you know, one flight every two or three months. That's like a huge update. Again, we'll have to see how 343 continues on after the release of Halo 4. Uh, do keep in mind, oftentimes with Microsoft during the month of December, things are very slow there. A lot of people are taking time off just because it's the holiday season. So I wouldn't expect a whole lot to get done during that month. But when January rolls around in February, we'll see things kind of get ramped back up again. But let me know in the comment section down below, guys, what is the thing that you're most excited about? For me, obviously having Halo 4's campaigns can be really awesome. To play but also bringing in that cross play and input based matchmaking is going to be a real game changer for the population and playability of these different online modes within the mcc it's looking great i'm excited about this guys so i really appreciate you all coming by and checking out the video if you want to stay up to date with any content from me or miss any videos for, or been out of the loop for the last few days or so when it comes to news check out the videos on the screen right now i got a playlist for you guys to go check out thank you so much for watching i'll catch you on the next one peace out